right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Call her like Malaya, how about Bahashan now? Shout by Shalom, that's like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises to you. How about Bahashan now? Shout by Shalom, Rechah, Hakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone to teach and rule well. Peace, love, salutations to the hope for the lit. All right, Shalom. I'm the brother Ha'amayan from the Great Millstone, Columbia, Georgia, camp. And now, but I desire this to be a quick edifying lesson through the spirit of power and mercy of Yahweh by Shemar Shah. You know, going to the plantation as we have to serve out our captivity. But nevertheless, you know, just on my spirit, due to a conference call, you know, us as a camp had last night. And, um, hey, man, we, we serve a merciful power, man. We serve a merciful power, and the Lord wants us to be very, very sincere, man. Meek, humble, honest with each other, with him, you know. But uh, what inspired me to make this lesson, like I said, was due to the conversation brothers was having on the uh, conference call from the head of our account for the second command on down. And um, once again, we serve a merciful power. So this is Psalms chapter 32, verse 5. And it says, uh, <clears throat> a Psalm of David, right? Start at one. It says, um, "Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered." Right. Reading NLT. Oh, what joy for those who whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. And you got to ask yourself: Do you not want to be forgiven? Do you really want the judgment of your Abashamal Shah for being a, a wicked man, a disobedient man, a uh, evil brother? Somebody who just never thought about doing right. He was full of guile, envy, strife, you know, all types of murmurs of, you know, naughtiness. And all the things that's displeasing to the Lord when you had ample time to get it right. Even though we know it's a part of predestination, but man, through the spirit, man, when you know better, you do better. You know, and the Lord is trying to. You know, shape us to be better men, man. Scriptures say Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. And as men, and it's true, we have to be merciful. You know, we have to understand, man, the Lord is a is a power to be greatly feared. He will judge you, but the Lord is merciful, man. You know, our desire, we be our sins be blotted out. You know, that's why we pray. The Psalms 51 and 11, man. Uh, Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. You know? So, with that being said, I'm going to jump down uh, to verse 5. It says, I acknowledge my sin unto thee and mine iniquity. See, see, it says, I acknowledged my sin unto thee. I acknowledged my sin unto thee. I'm going to read this in the NLT. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord Yahweh. Right? And we have to go through who to get to Yahweh? We got to go through Yahweh Shah. He's that door. You know? He's that door, man. So we got to go through Yahweh Shah, man. So it says, I acknowledge. It says, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord. And, and you forgave me All my guilt is gone You know We got to acknowledge it man Because while the Lord is merciful And will inspire me to make this lesson too That account When Yahweh Shai was up there On the cross man um, It says um, Let me start at uh, Yep 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 Started 35 and the people stood beholding and the rulers also with them derided him saying he saved others let him save himself if he be Hamashiach you know the Messiah it says um the chosen of the Messiah and the soldiers also mocked him coming to him and offering him vinegar and saying if thou be the king of the Jews save thyself and a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews, right? It was above um, on the cross. Um, it says, um, and one of the male factors, the criminals, 
It says, which were hanging the rail on him, saying, If thou be Hamashiach, save thyself and us. But the other answer rebuked him, saying, Dost not. I'm just read this in the NLT version. It says, But the other criminal protested, Don't you fear the Most High even when you have been sentenced to die? Verse 41. This is the mercy part. We deserve to die. See, the other male factor was, um, uh, he, he, he wasn't, um, he, he was scoffing, you know, but the, the other male factor was, uh, um, you know, pleading for mercy, man. The other male factor, the sincere one was, 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 um, acknowledging his sin. He, he was bearing it. You know, he knew he deserved to die. And that's why I grabbed that in Psalms 32 and five, man. I acknowledge my sin, you know, I acknowledge my iniquity. I can't hide my guilt in the NLT version, you know. Because we do deserve what we go through, man. Do it feel good? No. But guess what, man? The Lord is looking for a sincere spirit. The brokenhearted. The contrite. Not somebody who's high-minded. Your boo-boo don't stink. Yes, man, we deserve more. And guess what, man? That I'm coming right back to this. I'm going to end it off in um, uh, Luke 23. But through the spirit, this precept just popped in my head. Through the spirit, uh, you probably have a smile shot. Ezra 9 and 13. And guess what it says? After all that has come upon us for our evil deeds, our transgressions, it says, and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, seeing that thou our God, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance as this. See, this is our fault, man. But even in the midst of that, the Lord done, it, it, it says, he punished us less than our iniquities deserve, man. So that's why we got to be um, taking it on the chin and um, seeking the Lord 10 times more as it says in Baruch because it was for our mind to go astray man the Lord did nothing wrong he was righteous all the time <laughs> it was our fault man but um, I'm about to pull up to this job I ended off with Luke 41 Luke 23 and 41 in the NLT we deserve to die for our crimes but this man hasn't done anything wrong talking about Yahweh Shai Talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Then he said, Yahweh Shai, this is what he was saying to Yahweh Shai, remember me when you come into your kingdom. <laughs> That's beautiful. Remember me, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Cast me out away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. <laughs> whatever, whatever seemed right for you to do to me, you know, do it because I deserve it. But don't forget me. You know, we got to be completely honest with ourselves, man, to the Lord, man. You know, verse 30, 43, and Yahweh Shah replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise, man. You know? So, Abarada Zadi was an edifying lesson. You know, we serve a merciful power, man. You know, so with that being said, Lord willing, somebody was edified out there. I would like to close out by giving our glory, honor, and infinite praise unto our power. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach me will. Peace, love, salutations to the hopeful.